Good afternoon, everyone. You're listening to the news on Rochester Free Radio, provided by Rochester Indie Media. Don't hate the media, be the media. Check us out at rochester.indymedia.org. Up next, Susan Galloway. Yes, after a failed attempt by the New York City Police Union, State Supreme Court Justice Anna Seen upheld the Community Safety Act, which makes it easier for people to sue police for racial profiling. Also, after supposedly after nearly four decades after the practice was outlawed, a report has come out that women in California prisons have continued to be sterilized without consent. Um, between the uh, years of 2006 and 2010, at least 116 women in two California prisons had tubal ligations during pregnancy and delivery against their uh, consent. Also, on this day in 1873, Susan B. Anthony was found guilty and fined $100 for voting at a time women were disenfranchised. She never paid that fine. Next up, Andy Dillon. Okay. Well, after this long winter, more than 200, 206,000 um, final service shutoff notices were sent to rg and &E residential customers in the first four months of this year, the highest number in at least a decade. Earlier this week, the AARP and the Public Utility Law Project released the number of disconnect notices sent by rg and &E and the state's other regulated utilities. Energy costs in New York are crazy high, and that a, and a growing number of people, especially those with lower incomes, are finding it impossible to keep up. New York is poised to become the 23rd state to legalize marijuana for medicinal purposes. But the deal announced by Cuomo with legislative leaders Thursday afternoon does not allow for smoking of the drug. Other means of consuming the drug, such as vapor or pills, will be allowed. This law won't go into effect for another 18 months. And I'm Ted Forsyth. Uh, coming up here, we've got uh, May 25th, 2014. RoarMag.org reported that Marcos is no more. Who is Marcos, you ask? He is the spokesperson for the Zapatista Army of Liberation, the EZLN General Command, in three final, excuse me, in these final words spoken during the commemoration of the murdered Campanero Galeano at the Zapatista Rebel Community in La Realidad. Uh, Subcomandante Insurgent Marcos of the Zapatista Army of National Liberation announced that he will henceforth cease to exist. We think that it is necessary for one of us to die so that Galeano lives. To satisfy the impatient, or excuse me, the impertinence that is death, in place of Galeano, we put another name so that Galeano lives, and death takes not a life but just a name, a few letters empty of any meaning without their own history or life. That is why we have decided that Marcos today will cease to exist, said Marcos. Seventy-five people came to the Twelve Corners Park in Brighton uh, on May 24th in solidarity with a worldwide march against Monsanto, wrote indie media reporter Al Brundage. Monsanto is the largest purveyor of genetically modified organisms, or GMOs. GMOs contain substances like the chemical glypho... Jesus. Glypho <laughs> <Life of> Jesus. <laughs> Glyphosate. It is a toxic, it is toxic and harmful uh, to insects, but also toxic to humans and bees. That's a weird sentence. He writes that cultivation and sale of GMO crops is currently banned in 26 countries, including most of the European Union and Russia. Angry protesters in Hungary set fields of GMO crops on fire until the country banned them several years ago. For more on these important stories and other important stories that you don't hear about in all the other stations, check out rochester.indymedia.org.